13 inch block mounting for A3 plus desktop printers. Now what we do is we start with a reasonably priced backing board uh, to work from. Now 6mm MDF is fantastic to buy, it's quite stable and it's very very cheap to buy. Now this material, I bought this one just up the road um, for uh, 48 inches by 24 inches uh, just under five pounds. Um, that, that's 610 mil by 1220, that's 1.2 meters and six mil thick. Now a lot of these DIY companies now will actually cut for you. So you can get it cut slightly under the 13 inch width so that your image, you can actually trim your image to bleed on the image itself. So for instance, this one here happens to be 24 inch wide, so we get the DIY outfit to cut it straight down the middle at 12 inches dead, all the way down, and if we have our image that's slightly wider than 12 inches, we can stick it onto the board and we can trim afterwards and we can have a nice neat bleed appearance like you see on these, these, uh, um, these uh, uh, images that we've already mounted. So the cost of the MDF, not very expensive, let's put this away. So we don't do the cutting. These people, they're very, very good. They've got very good um, equipment for doing the cutting. And this is what it looks like when they've cut it. Beautiful, beautiful sharp edge. So what we now do is we, we, we pre-coat the edge of the, of the board. Uh, depending on the color of the, of the, uh, of the image, uh, of this image, which has been uh, prepared for us very kindly by Mur uh, Murillo Tizo of the Workshop Gallery in Eastbourne. He actually does these as a business. These images, he's coated the edge in a black, and what he does, he mounts the, in this case it's a beautiful canvas, it's a glossy canvas, um, and he's mounted it on, and then afterwards he goes through with a sharp craft knife, and he touches him with a little bit of felt tip pen. And it, it, it looks it looks fantastic. He'd sell that for something in the order of 150 to 200 pounds, ready to go on the on the wall. Isn't that, doesn't that look fantastic? So I'll show you how we achieve that effect. So we've started with our our cutout board. That uh, the board costs you five pounds, and you get two of these out of the board. So that's about 48 inches wide. Uh, <clears throat> so that means to say the largest print that you could produce would be would be uh, eight foot long depending on the on the driver on your printer driver we now take the the uh, we take Murillo's print that he's very kindly created for us and we put it out onto the board it's slightly oversized what a beautiful beautiful print that actually is now we need some method of uh, of of sticking the print onto the board itself and for this you need the an occasional little bit of help because you want to have an extra pair of hands to put the to put the other corners down so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use <coughs> this 3m photo mount now you can buy this from us it's around 15 pounds online uh, with us or you can buy it locally no problem it's 3m photo mount permanent don't have the don't have the temporary photo mount. This is the permanent material. Now, what you do is you spray the back of the canvas reasonably generously. So you would spray the back of the canvas, making sure that you spray over the edge on each side, so that the adhesive goes right to the edge on either side. I particularly like to spray like this as one pass. <clears throat> all the way through. I put a bit of corrugated paper around here incidentally to protect myself and I'd be over spraying right past the edge and then I have another pass going the other way. I'm, I'm not actually going to spray it here because I don't want to make a mess of all this here but that's, this is actually what we'd be doing. We'd lay down, the, we'd lay down a bit of corrugated paper and uh, just to protect ourselves and make sure as you're spraying does say here that you actually spray in an open environment so we'd have the door open to have a bit of air going through so we take our, our glued part we put that over there and we do exactly the same to the face side of our board 
So we'd spray on one side, like this, and I personally would give it a second coat going across here. So that's got the, the canvas, uh, uh, you, it doesn't necessarily have to be canvas incidentally, it can be the gloss, it can be the, it can be the, the satin as well, but I, I, I like this, this, uh, this, this gloss, it makes a, a, a nice demo for us. We leave both surfaces to dry until they're both pretty well, almost, almost dry, J just tacky to the touch. And what we then do, Paul, if I can just ask you to hold this, to hold this, uh, this, this corner, we'll actually demonstrate. Here we are, Paul. So let's pretend we've got all, we've got all glue here. We've, we've got our assistant, and what we do is we're going to turn it round, just on the edge, beyond the image. And what we do is we line up one corner there so that the edge of the image we know is over the edge. We've got to make sure that the edge bleeds over the edge there like so. And what we can now do is bring the, bring the print down. Now, you get no second chance with this. This is either perfect or we've ruined the print. So we've got to make sure that this, that this is perfect. That's why it's very important to make sure that this line up on the edge there, the edge of that print oversails that edge because we know we can trim down afterwards and know that the image is bleeding off. The rest is going to be okay, but just to make sure. What we then do is we can we can push down and we can we can push away from the centre, as you see here, with either a, a soft cloth. Uh, Murillo actually he he advises us all to use a, a roller to roller it out. Be very careful not to not to mess up the image, and you actually. Make sure that you don't entrap the air. So you're, you're pushing out from the center and you're pushing away. You're pushing away like, like so. Once you know it's nicely down and flat, you just leave it. And it's a good idea to leave it for at least, uh, for at least uh, 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 a morning, I would say. So it's absolutely dry. Now let's get the Let's get the, the board here now. What we now do is we, we trim off with a sharp craft knife. We trim off with a sharp craft knife and any little nasty bits that we see on the edge, we get a, a, a black felt tip just to touch in. Now costs here, uh, if, we're using, if we're using gloss and satin, we calculate that at 25 pounds a roll, your your prints will be costing you uh, two pounds per meter. That's in the that's the paper cost. If you're using this fantastic glossy canvas material, which is about the only way that you can successfully put canvas through an A3 plus printer, your costs are around five pounds per meter. So a meter run is going to cost you five pounds in canvas, plus your, the cost of your ink. This print incidentally was produced using photo black. So all photo black inks can work with these three materials. The 6ml MDF, well that's less than five pounds, so that's not too bad. So this print that you see here costs uh, uh, in total under 10 pounds and you'd sell this print for something in the order of 120 pounds to 150 pounds. Finally, just to finish off the product, we turn the product over and in your local DIY centre, you've got the little, these little, let's, let's come up close to the, to the camera, the, these little hooks you can get. If you have difficulty getting hold of them, we can always find these for you. And you put a pair of little hanging hooks on the top there. And what we like to do is roughen up the surface roughen up the surface and use two pack epoxy a little bobble of epoxy on one side a little bobble there make sure that it's absolutely secure so a cost price of under 10 pounds and a selling price for you of around 120 pounds if you have any queries about what you've seen here on these past two two videos please contact me at john at thanks very much for watching